Harry taught me to have a plan. Always be prepared. So I make sure I have candles, a flashlight, and a project to keep me busy in the dark. Jean Marshall, real estate mogul, millionaire, and arsonist. Set fire to one of his own apartment complexes. Didn't matter that his insurance policy had expired, or that a dozen residents were still inside. Marshall lost six million dollars, and seven innocent people lost their lives. Marshall's psychiatrist deemed him mentally unfit to stand trial, three months in an institution, and back to the lap of luxury. They say money can't buy happiness, but I say it can buy off a shrink. Dr. Greenstein, Hank Nelkin. I called earlier about your boat. Oh yeah, well, come on aboard, take a look. I just bought her. Real wood trim, ski tow, 140 horsepower. Mind if I ask why you're selling? Upgrading. Came into some money, figured it was time to get myself that yacht I always wanted. You win the lottery or something? Nope. I make my own luck. I check the obituaries, no dead family members, which means no coincidence that Marshall got off and the doctor got rich. He may have played the system, but he's about to get burned. Holy smokes, right? You scared? Bet your victims were scared too. Being burned to death? What a terrible way to die. Of course, I'm gonna kill you with this fireman's knife, so that'll suck too. It's like a whole set of kill tools right in my pocket. I, I wasn't trying to kill anybody. Come on, Gene, you're a smart guy. What did you think was going to happen? I... I didn't care. I just knew I had to light that fire. These urges, I can't control them. Sure you can. I've learned to manage my impulses. I always have a plan. Like now, for instance. I'm going to slit your throat, cut you up into little pieces, and then burn what's left. Have you ever seen someone burn alive? Okay, now you're just creeping me out. Hello? Dex, where the f*** are you? I just passed my driver's test. Congratulations. Listen, I'm kind of in the middle of something. F*** you, big brother. It's my goddamn birthday and I never ask you for anything. I want to take you for a drive. So get over here before I kick you in the nutsack. Okay, changing plans. No big deal.
If I miss Deborah's sweet 16, it'll sour our relationship, and she's all the family I've got. I'll go for a quick drive with her, and then get back to my business. Just a detour, no big deal. Excellent. Hey Deb, it's me. Traffic's a nightmare. I'll be there ASAP. back in the trunk. You're a real pain in the ass. I hate killing by the seat of my pants. find a better way to do this. Harry's code frowns on snap decisions, impetuous behavior. But buying this boat is a great idea. As long as I can control my other impulses. 